Okay, Salawam, Salawam, Kwam Yasalo, Koholoyim Laya, how we're about some Yawasai, Bahasim, Rakaha, Kudash, Double Honor, Swar, Apostles, and Elders of Great Millstone who rule well there by the Spirit, taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim, Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yawashai to the best of their ability. Zachana Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Um, you know, to be circumspect and to keep you circumspect as well, because the scripture says, you know, um, walk circumspectly, because the days are evil. And this is um it says Trump supporters are calling for civil war after FBI searched Mar a Lago. So if you're familiar with that, you know they ran through a spot broke into a safe or something like that looking for some archives or after they whatever they was looking for i don't know if they really found anything or not but they you know trump wasn't there of course it says civil war coming to america one trump supporter wrote at the news broke that the fbi searched former president donald trump's mar-a-lago home in florida on monday his supporters openly called for an armed violent response and ultimately civil war now, you, you you know you got to keep in mind your your January six, um, people that storm you know storm the Capitol, you know the hey, them damn Edomites man hey, they was out there, hey, they had um you know supposedly found pipe bombs and you know they hey, they had weapons man, they was ready to get down that day, you see what I'm saying, just wasn't time. You how about Shimmy Abashai gonna move them forward though, Civil War 2.0 just kicked off. One user wrote on Twitter with another adding. One step closer to a kinetic civil war. Others said they were ready to take part. I'm already bought my ammo. And see what people just, you know, got those Twitter accounts and stuff like that. And they may have a ghost Twitter or a ghost whatever channel. You know, they, they, with, with everything that's going on right now, hey, the FBI going to run their asses down. You see? <laughs> you know, so all that talk, talk. Yeah, yeah you know, hey, we do these lessons on online. You know, to, to keep the, the flock educated and the flock um, fed. But, you know, in reality, you know, we try and use as much wisdom as we can because we do understand that this so-called white man, he, he's going to use information on these sites, you know, these channels that, you know, we have to basically try and corner us. You know, they because they actually somebody mentioned Alex Jones in here. And if you're familiar with the story with him, hey, they hit him over the head for a large sum, man, with that um Sandy Hook hoax hookup, man, that lawsuit. You know, I think he had to pay like 45 million to the family. Yeah, just a bunch of money, man. But anyway, the whole thing of that is, is they're shutting down talk. They're shutting down information because they've been losing the information war for a real long time. Esau Edom has not been able to keep up with all the information that's come out on, coming out online, man. And especially amongst the Hebrew Israelites, because once they start hitting us with strikes, we start, you know, using little, you know, slang. You know, to bring out what we're trying to bring out. You know, we use certain code words and stuff like that. So, you know, Yahweh by Shimei was shy. Hey, hey, it keeps moving. You know, that's how you know Yahweh Shai was a so-called black man. Because when you look at, when you listen to his parables, or you you read the parables, you can see, man, that's all that that that's all street street talk, so to speak. Not to say it in a bad light, but you know, it, it's definitely those were parables that was flying over certain people's heads. You know, only you know only your certain homeboy gonna understand what it is that you're talking about or getting down like you see well let's get some more it says mega q and i far right message boards and telegram channels lit up monday night with calls for violent response to what some extremists see as the political attack directed by biden administration and you know they hate this guy man they, i mean even the people that voted for him now is starting to not like him you know <laughs> so you you can imagine how the ones feel that they feel like trump has you know he was still in office all the time they they still feel like this guy's still their president man and i'm in an area right now where it, it's nothing but trump supporters you know trump bumper stickers trump flags trump you know they'll have one flag hanging out of the window with trump on it the other side of the window will be hanging out it'll be an american flag so these people man they ready to get down and you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans stay out of it man these people want to have a civil war and kill each other. Let them go for it. Don't you get in the mix of it. Because why? You're not Americans. You, If these people had not kidnapped your people, colonized your people, you wouldn't be here to call yourself American. Let them scrap it out. Let them fight for what they stole for, man. I'm serious. Like, you know, you got to use wisdom out here. That's why, you know, matter of fact, let me bring this scripture up real quick. Let's go into it real quick. 
I kind of quoted it at the beginning, but let's get it. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then ye, that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Don't be no damn fool out here. And you, Jake, that's running off into this military, trying to fight for this so-called white man that's running around the earth stealing every damn thing, killing and stealing and robbing and pillaging and raping, you're going to be destroyed along with this man when our Lord comes because when the Lord comes, you're going to be fighting against him and you're going to lose terribly. So all that joining the military crap, y'all need to cut it out. And if you can get out of there, get out of there as soon as you possibly can. I'll put it that way now. But this right here, running the streets, you know, all down uh, downtown and all these areas trying to have a damn civil war with these so-called white people. You better leave it alone, man. That's not wisdom. Let these people, like I said, they stole the country. They killed, they raped for it. They done all the things that they done for it. And the Lord is, is stirring up that pot now for them to lose it. So why would you help somebody that the Lord is against? Because the Lord is most definitely against this place. You see? When they running around with God bless America and all this crap on their money, man, they don't even believe in the Lord. And if they do, well, they actually don't. They believe in, 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 in this so-called white guy named Jesus, man, which that's not the name of the Lord. The Lord's name is Yahawashai. That Jesus character that they pushed on and, and, and beat into our people doing slavery, that is idolatry. Get away from those Christian harlot houses, too. That's teaching that the Lord is some white guy and he loves everybody. The Lord is only coming back for the Hebrew Israelites, man, and that's that. And he's coming back on behalf because we have enemies. If you read um, the book of Luke, chapter 1, start at like verse 68 or so, it goes off into our enemies, man. The, re the, one of the, re the main reasons is right there from like 60, about well, 68, I'd say down to verse 80. You'll get the full understanding, basically, man, of what Yahweh's side, which the world eagerly calls Jesus, is coming for, or who he's coming for. He's coming to get us out of the hands of, hands of our enemies. These are your enemies. You're still in captivity 500 years later, and these people still out here treating you like it's the 1600s, man. I mean, you got to clearly see that these people are not your friends. So don't go out here running around in the streets when these, these people get to doing this crap, man. Let them go for it. It says... This is how you like the match to a civil war, one user on Twitter wrote. Similar rhetoric, rhetoric was shared in far-right channels on Telegram. Civil war coming to America. There won't be any more elections, one member said. And hey, they, they, that could be very true. Because cause, um, this guy right here, and we're hastening today, man. We, you know, we're, you know, the Lord is shortening the times, and we're praying that our Lord comes soon, man, and that we're counted worthy enough to make it through all the things that are coming to pass and accounted worthy enough to stand before the Son of Man. But we want our Lord to come, man, because we really need out of the hands of these people. We have no hope without our Lord. These people have, have total control over us as a people. And you got Negroes running around really thinking that they're American. They're proud to be what the oppressor told you you are. You're black, African-American, and all these different damn bywords that they done gave you. Not ever realizing that you are Hebrew Israelites, man. Our people don't even consider who they are. Matter of fact, let me grab that real quick. See, it's, start to, it's time to wake up. High time to awake out of sleep and realize who you really are. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the, the most royal people on the planet, man. And we're in the situation that we're in because we broke that contract that we made with the Lord. We made a covenant with him to do what he said to do. You can read through the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and give you the whole rundown. Blessings if you listen to me, curses if you don't. And part of those curses is slavery, man. Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doeth not know. My people do not do if not consider. Our people don't consider who they really are. They'll throw a fist in the air and, 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 and tell you how proud they are to be black. When there is no such thing as actual black people, it's just different shades of brown people. There is no such thing as white people. It's just different shades of different shades of red people. But the so-called white man came up with these colors and made them nationalities. And, and, and that a color is not a nationality. A continent is not a nationality. This man went throughout the world, rape, robbing and pillaging everybody and named everything after himself. Now, you so-called blacks, if you calling yourselves African and American, 
you're saying that you descend from two different white men. Because America is named after a so-called white man. Africa is named after a so-called white man. Look it up. Google it. So if you're saying you're African-American, then you're saying that you descend from two so-called white men, which is stupid as hell. You see? But our people needed, you need to start to consider who you are. You are Hebrew Israelites, and the Lord made a covenant with us, and this and 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 and, and the promises was given to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he's coming back to fulfill that promise. And it's only for the Hebrew Israelites. White Jesus Christianity is idolatry. These people raped, robbed, and pillaged everything in this continent, all in the name of their white Jesus. And then beat it into you and got you out here 20 centuries, <laughs> 10, 15 generations later, still believing that the Lord is some white guy, the same guy that hung our people in trees. Because if he's a so-called white guy, you might as well just go ahead and ball out of control and party out of control. Because if, if his people hate you like how they hate you, just think what's, what's it going to be like if a so-called white guy come back as your Lord and Savior, he's going to hate you too. Obviously, his people hate you. So you might as well boil out of control. But let's get a little bit more of this. It says a total war on descendants of descent, dissidents, Salakia, is about to unfold. Not behind closed doors, but blatantly in public. Another member wrote in a different far-right channel, attacks on Alex Jones, Trump, and Patriot Day defendants are only setting the precedent for the future of us as the only opposition to the deep state. See? In the QAnon channels, there were some conflicting responses, with some conspiracy believers calling for armed responses and others suggesting the FBI was all a part of the plan. A prominent QAnon influencer known as QAnon John is urging followers not to call for civil war, as this, the influencer said, is what the deep state wants them to do. Within hours of the FBI search, however, the term civil war was already trending on Twitter and hundreds of Trump supporters had already gathered outside Mar-a-Lago. Some claimed on Telegram channels that they were there to protect the former president. See, these motherfuckers, hey, they're crazy, man. They're not playing no games. In response to one meme suggesting gun sales and voting accidents would soar in the wake of the FBI raid, one member of the Donald Trump pro-Trump message board wrote, if it's time to hide them, it's time to use them. The top comment on the main thread about the raid on Tuesday morning was lock and load. In the same thread, another user wrote, it certainly feels like they're threatening it as a hot civil war. When this is all said and done, the people re responsible for these tyrannical actions need to be hanged. And they, hey, they mean that. Another person responded to the same meme by saying that people need to start learning about 3D printing referring to the rise of virtual untraceable ghost guns. These same forums also hosted similarly violent rhetoric in the build up to January 6th. See? Capital riot. Trump's own comment confirming FBI search used the former president's typical inflammatory language to describe a, a lawful search of his home. My beautiful home. <laughs> and, and, and the crazy part of it is, is the people that's running around out here ready to go to civil war for this guy they don't live like Trump. Motherfucker's got plate. He got he got cribs all over the world, man. It can fly, you know, in his little jet to wherever he needs to go and go play golf. While while Esau, regular so-called white man, is out here just struggling, struggling to buy gas, struggling to pay for groceries, struggling to get um 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 damn prescription medicine and stuff, man. Just struggling. You see what I'm saying? It says. My beautiful home, Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida, is currently under siege, raided, and occupied by a large group of FBI agents, Trump wrote. They even broke into my safe. What is the difference between this and Watergate? Where's operatives broke into the Democrat National Committee? My motherfuckers had search warrants, man, if I'm not mistaken. Statements from the mainstream Republican leaders and lawmakers, as well as right-wing media personalities, also pushed some of this rhetoric. Georgia representative, she stay in the news. Marjorie Taylor Greene said without evidence that the FBI action was an indication that the agency had been weaponized by the Democrats and President Joe Biden to persecute Trump. This is the rogue behavior of communist countries, not the United States of America, Greene tweeted. These are the type of things that happen in countries during civil war. The Republican leader of the U.S. House of Representatives, 
Kevin McCarthy issued a warning to the Attorney General Merrick Garland over the FBI's actions. See? And that's quite a bit of a little bit more to it. Um, but anyway, you, you get the point, man. I'm not going to keep it long. I'm here at the plantation. I was just trying to get something in real quick. You already know the comments. You know how that go. He's gu guilty. Get over it. The This fascist is a threat to our nation. Stop the lies. He isn't worth ruining our nation again. Hunter Biden, Trump 2024. If Trump would keep breaking breaking laws, this would not happen to him. He just can't can't understand. He is not above the law. He is getting 100% of what he deserves. So you got people on the right hand, people on the left hand. You got your conservatives. You got your you got your blue. Hey, basically it's just about to be some gang banging. Your blue and red states, man. These are your real Crips and Bloods. This is what you're about to see out here, man. Yeah, he, 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 they did. I mean, FBI ain't gonna just break into your house and go through no safes and stuff. They don't have no warrant. They obviously had a warrant, but who knows? You know what, what's the you know how everything went down? Cause this whole damn system is corrupt. So it is what it is, man. And you can see, like this right here is just the other side of the hate that um, that that the um, you know these people have for Trump as well. That's how um, you know Biden ended up getting in the office. But what has Biden done? For you people that wanted Trump out of office so bad. Nothing. <laughs> nothing at all, man. Absolutely nothing. Nothing but your gas went up. Nothing but your food is it more expensive. You know? Nothing. Hey, oh, they gave you the um the, the the alphabet um jump off. They gave the alphabet people their their rights. That's about it. That's all you're getting out of that, man. Let me just get this Matthew though, 24. Because these things have been spoken of, man, by Yahweh Shai. The disciples asked Yahweh Shai what would be happening in the end days. And this is it's all going to come down to it, man. All these prophecies are coming to pass, man. That's why it's so important to wake up and 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 and, and repent. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because like I said again, you are the Hebrew Israelites and the Lord is coming for you. He's going to wreck all these nations and take all their crowns. And he's going to be king of kings, lord of lords, which he already is. But... When he when he comes to reign, the Israelites are gonna be on top, just like we're on the bottom right now, man. Matthew 24, I'm gonna start at verse 3. And he sat upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And the and the end of the world. So the disciples is asking that question: what's gonna be popping just before you come? Or you know, hey, what's gonna be going down? And this is what the Lord told him. And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Omashiach, or you know, they say Christ, and shall deceive many. I just done a lesson yesterday with this guy, you know, um, talking about he's Jesus and his, his, his so called girlfriend or wife or whatever she is. She's Mary Magdalene, and you know, they, they, you know, they, they lived 2,000 years ago and now they're back, so to speak. Just a bunch of weirdness. But people following them, though. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And and the wars and rumors of wars is going down. And that's just like I was just reading a story with um Turkey over in Syria shooting at um US um using using their drones to you know they killed um some um well I don't think it was US soldiers, but um, you know, US allied soldier soldiers that's over there. And 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 Turkey is supposed to be allies with america they vote with nato but turkey is 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 you know is messing with russia though you see what i'm saying turkey is dealing more with russia russia is man they, they basically <laughs> a team so to speak so in the meanwhile russia and ukraine are fighting against each other and, and and the u.s is trying to stop russia from you know slowly moving on into ukraine in the meanwhile over in a whole nother region, their ally, Turkey, that had to, to approve that Finland and Poland can get on, on, the, on the NATO hookup because they was the only ones that was holding out and they need all the members to agree. So they was holding out for a hot sec, but they got what they wanted out of the deal and went ahead and allowed, you know what I'm saying, um, and agreed to Finland and Poland coming on into NATO, which Russia now is going to go further and further. That's what it, that's what the Russia and Ukraine thing was all about. This guy didn't want the U.S. and NATO to be, you know, right on his border with no bombs, man. You know, sitting there with weapons right on his border. 
So he went into Ukraine, so to speak. But like I said, again, over in Syria, because, you know, Russia is cool with Syria. Turkey is cool with Syria. So it's kind of like a, 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 a basically like a, a, a police precinct. Gunning at another pro, um, police precinct. They just in a gunfight when they supposed to be on the same squad, so to speak. Well, let's get the rest of this. Because this is the point right here. For nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. And that's what's going on. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. That's all you've been hearing about. That's all you've been hearing about lately. Especially these pestilence. I just seen another brother. I forgot what he said the name of it was. He just titled his lesson. Another one. It was another um, so-called disease out here. Then you got, um, you know, your, your, your gorilla pox. They done, they done made that a, um, a, a national emergency, you know, in a certain certain other states and stuff. Now they're talking about polio. They said polio is in the water. I'm trying to think whether it's um, the sewage systems out of New York or something like that. But they basically saying polio is back. So you got that. Then they still talking about your um, your COV-19. They got that. And not to mention a, a, a few other little things that's under the radar, man. So you got your pestilence going on, your plagues going on. All kinds of um, seriously bad weather, floods. I think it was like about 40 people got swept away and died in the flood in, uh, in Kentucky, man. And they were kind of saying it was from, I guess, the coal mines. But, you know, that's Esau Edom being greedy as hell and digging every damn thing out of the earth. They didn't depleted this earth. But let's get that again. It says, for nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. And pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So we're, we're if you know, things have already started. We're already in the midst of, you know, um, oh, it's only a few more prophecies to, to go down, man, before we're out of here. World War Three, which, like I said, all you hearing about is stuff like that that's leading up to that right now. Worldwide. Kim Jong Un over there in North Korea, and he, hey, they said that he's ahead of America on um, nuclear weapons. I seen a, a less a story on that. Not sure how true it was, but hey, they're building, man. That guy don't even care nothing about his people. All his money is going towards military might, man, to knock off South Korea, which is allies to America. So it's just a bunch of talk, man. Israel is um they you know they they over there firing rockets and stuff in Gaza still, the Strip of Gaza. So it's a lot of stuff that's going on, man. You just got to be really paying attention. That's why the scripture says to um, walk circumspectly, man. You got to be on point with watching out what's going on out here because that's our measuring stick. And whether we repeat it over and over and over again, man, whether it's re repetition, 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 because all we're focused on now is the prophecies, man. Basically, we do the lessons and teach other lessons. But hey, when we see something about these prophecies, we got to put something together. We got to bring it out. We supposed to warn the flock. And the scripture says, hey, whether you hear or forbear, you know, hey, we still got to come out and do it. And, and that gets the blood off of our hands, man. That gets the blood off our hands. If the house is on fire and you screaming, the house is on fire. You trying to get everybody out. And this nigga just want to stay there and explosions going on in the background. And you got to get on out. Leave that nigga in there. If he wants to stay, <laughs> it's that simple, man. But yeah, man, um, you know, I just like I said again, this right here could happen any day. Any day now. You know what I'm saying? And this is um hey, I mean it 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 can it can happen any day now. Especially what if they okay, so what if they find something on, on this guy? Because he's you know, he's he's a sitting president, but he's not president right now. He's actually a regular citizen back out here. So what if they go and try and arrest this guy? What they I mean <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine him throwing handcuffs on Trump? Trump out here in the orange jumpsuit? Man, these so-called white people going to go nuts. Going to go nuts, man. And it is what it is, man. So, I mean, hey, but we're we're applauding this. We want this stuff to happen. We want it to go down. We're just patiently waiting on our Lord, man. We want it to go down, man. So, hopefully, some will come out of it. <laughs> Hopefully some will come on out of it, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.